Hi, Tara. Hello, hello. Thank so, you. I'm here with our Miss Universe Philippines 2024 from the city of Baguio, Benguet, Tara Valencia. Hello, everyone. How does it feel, Tara, that you walk for one of the most awaited events of Miss Universe Philippines or Runway Challenge? It feels so ecstatic right now that I am one of the chosen top six of the Hello Glow Runway Challenge. But at the same time, I feel so proud among us, the queens, because during our backstage events, we were able to cheer each other up, even scream for what our performance might be. And I think this is the most important part of boosting someone's confidence, making them feel that they can really showcase and or execute a great performance. Of course, you were, Rebe, uh, when you came out earlier, you were twirling, like you're putting <laughs> on air, and then like, you know, avatar ka ba be? Airbender Thank you. You were so amazing. So what, what were your feelings that time when you went out for the first time on stage? Mm -hmm. It's always living in the moment. Eh. Now, once you live in the moment, it's about enjoying walking, enjoying showcasing your poses, your facial expressions, and minsan kapag nakapag, when you are really living in the moment, you are able to shed out all those nervousness about uh, on you. And I'm just so glad that it really was manifested during this show. So do you know that this is the second time that Miss Universe Philippines did or um, held a, the runway challenge in public? Because yes. the last time was 2020, the first edition. So um, and then the succeeding ones were virtually. Would you do it differently? Like, do you want to do it virtually or in person? Honestly, I would really want to do it in person. Because seeing all those crowds cheering for you, all those crowds really howling for your performance, it really boosts your confidence. It's really a way for you to be energized even more, for you to be able to showcase or execute your performance really, really well. Uh, okay, Baguio has been performing well in Miss Universe Philippines for the past couple of editions. Actually, we know uh, Genesis. Genesis, um, Krishna Gravides is our Miss Charm Philippines. So, do you think that uh, you have what it takes to surpass their achievements and why? Yes, I have what it takes. But first, I really want to commend the standards that were set by our previous queens on how they were able to showcase what Baguio really is. And honestly speaking, I really have what it takes to be the next Miss Universe Philippines because I have the love and compassion for not just for my own city but also for my country because I believe that the culture and tradition of Philippines may be shared through my platform as an ex Miss Universe Philippines. And have you spoken with um, the two of them or any of them? Yes, Oppo. I always speak to Genesis Latugat and there are times that I also talk to Krishna Gravides and sa totoo lang, super down to earth ng queens na yun. However, they have become brave and strong enough to be able to fight for their own platforms. And yun nga, babalikan natin itong Hello Glow event and congratulations, you're one of the top six. Thank you. So, um, bukod sa saya, ano pang, ano pang nararamdaman mo, ano gusto mong gawin dahil nga you're one of the top six Hello Glow mm. finalists. Well, as part of the top six, I honestly want other candidates to also win. Kung pwede nga lang na we also have 50 for um, finalists, diba? But I know that a lot of queens have also performed well during this competition, and I'm just so happy how they were able to conquer this stage. And there are so many fans cheering kanina sa mobile. Anong pakiramdam? 
Yeah. So, totoo lang, nakakakilig. <laughs> nakakakilig. And when I got out of this, I, when I got into the stage, I was able to even boost my energy because they have been really uh, hyping me up. That's why I was just there in a the moment, walking, showcasing my passarela, my poses, and even my executions as well. Lastly, what's your message to those supporters you have here and all over the universe? Hello to those who have been supporting me since day one and who is already supporting me. Thank you so much for always believing and trusting me all throughout my Miss Universe Philippines journey. Agyama na kadakayo amin apo. Once again, I'm Tara Valencia representing Baguio for the upcoming Miss Universe Philippines. All right. Thank you so much, Tara Valencia, our Miss thank Universe you. 2024 for the summer capital of the Philippines, Baguio City. Thank you. And good luck on your Miss Universe Philippines journey. Thank you so much.